You know, I receive emails and videos from all over the country uh, from women who want me to help them find a good man. Uh, but recently, I received this message from three young adults who want me to help their mom. Check it out. Hi, Steve. My name is Alana, and I'm 18. My name is Darren, and I'm 25. My name is Alexi, and I'm 21. And Steve, we need your help to help our mom find the perfect man. My mom is a queen that deserves her king, and we need your help. She deserves someone God-fearing, financially stable, and, and handsome. Right? Very handsome. handsome. And definitely treats her with the utmost definitely. respect. Definitely. And he needs to be a family guy, someone who can fit in. Steve, since you Dr. Love, you know what I'm saying, can you please help our family out? Please. Fingers crossed. Well, they asked and I answered. This is Date Our Mom. <laughs> All right, everybody, please welcome Monica and her kids, Alana, Darian, and Alexia. Yeah. All right, nice to meet y'all. Okay, so now, Monica, how'd you feel when you were told that your kids reached out to me to help you find a man? Ooh, I was really surprised. Um, I know they're my biggest supporters, and they're always looking out for my best interests. And I know they love me, so um, just as I've supported them, I think they're trying to just pay it forward. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got Elena, uh, Darian, and Alexa. Let me ask you, why do you all want me to help your mom find love? Um, I feel that my mom deserves to be treated like a queen. She's done everything for us, um, almost all of our lives by herself, and I just want to see her happy and just someone who's, like, family-oriented and just fits in with the family. I definitely would like to finally see my mom be treated like a queen, someone that has a lot to offer, is an asset to her, you know, versus a liability. I just definitely would like her to be respected. Uh, she definitely needs someone to give her the world. She gives us the world and others. She's very giving, so someone that treats her like a queen and respects her. So, we got a really bright family here. I could tell you've done a great job... Thank you. ...raising these kids right here. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, man. All right, now, we, we, we heard from your kids what type of guy they like for their mom, but let me ask you, what type of man are you looking for? Uh, along the same lines, I think they know what I deserve, how I want to be treated. I'm looking for someone God-fearing, um, fun-loving, someone ready to travel the world, um, respectful, someone that is there to be able to spoil me. I like that. Now, he said somebody that brings something to the table has something to offer. And he was real clear about asset versus liability. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do you think has stopped you meeting the right guy or the right guy coming along? What's, what's it been? <laughs> oh, because they all laughing. Right here. <laughs> they just looked at each other and just, woo, Lord. So, so what do you think it is? Um, probably the decisions that I've made. Um, being too patient. Oh, you hung in there a little bit too long. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> oh, way too long. <laughs> he say way too long. Oh, okay, so you didn't, you didn't hear that. Somebody told me this one time. Somebody said, life is too short for me to be, have to wait around on you to act right. Oh. Yes, that's yes. it. That's it. It really is, man. All right, well, we consulted with your kids. Mm -hmm. And my producers are really good at this. They went out and they found three great guys that they thought would be really, really a great match for you. Okay, so, Monica, you ready to meet them? Yes, absolutely. All right. Gentlemen, come on out. I'm going to be giving Monica an opportunity to get to know these men before she chooses a date. This ought to be good, so come on back. <laughs> We're sitting here with uh, three great single men that we think would be a good match for Monica. Gentlemen, introduce yourselves to Monica, starting with Ted. How you doing? My name is Ted. I'm 49 years old. I am the director of the city of Houston's own Hollywood Studios, HTV, Houston Television. 
and I'm looking to meet someone to connect with, to grow with, and especially in the area of travel. So I was recently in Cuba last year. I'm scuba certified. Could be a trip for two, could be a trip for five <laughs> to Ecuador. That's that's the old man ass <laughs> answer right there. Could be a trip for two, could be a trip for five. <laughs> You better say that, all right. Uh, Racy, go ahead. I'm Racy, I'm 57. I'm a retired teacher coach of Deacon from Denison, Texas. I currently serve on the Denison City Council. I'm also on the board of CASA in Wichingwell, Texoma. We grant witches to kids that have life-threatening illnesses. I'm looking for a godly woman that uh, still likes a night on the town. So, uh... <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully I found my plus one. All right, Mark. Hi, I'm Mark. I'm a native Houstonian. I'm born and raised in the South. And uh, I'd like to show you what being a Southern gentleman is all about. All right, Monica, you've got my 14 questions that I think all women should ask a man on their first date. And since your kids are in on this, I'm gonna let them ask the fellas some questions too, okay? So, Monica, what's your first question? My first question to Mark. What do you value most in a relationship? Companionship. Because there's a lot of different things that you can look for in a relationship. But if you're not compatible, if you don't have some type of chemistry that goes beyond, you know, the physical beauty that you obviously have, then uh, you can't feel that. You tried. Okay. Next one. Next one. Gracie, name three things you'd like to have in common with your partner. Uh, number one, they have to be uh, have God in their life uh, first and foremost. Uh, number two, uh, they have to be uh, someone of, of intelligence. I, I do a lot of social engagements in, in my career, and uh, they have to be comfortable uh, anywhere from the ball game to the ballroom. So. <laughs> I'm so proud of my picks. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know how your kids be out there doing good, and you be going, boy, that's my baby right there. <laughs> These my dudes right here. Okay, let's ask this good question yes. for Ted. Okay, Ted, what is your biggest strength and weakness? I think my biggest strength is relationship building. And my weakness, every now and then maybe overthink just a little bit, but definitely building relationships, uh, committed to people, having fun, that's me. All right. Elena, you want to ask a question? Okay, what do you believe is your worst quality? You know, I'm a snuggler. I might snuggle you to where you get on. I'm gonna get on you. Know, I'm gonna be up under you. I'm gonna hold you. I'm gonna That's make good. you feel good. When it's cold like it is out here, I'm gonna warm you up. Yeah. All right, Darian. Now, so everybody can get a question. You get one question, one guy. What is the longest relationship you've been in and why did it end? Excellent. Who you wanna ask that to? All of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. See, he the man in the house, so I got to go with him on there. Oh, Lord. Ted? I was married for 20 years. Uh, basically, irreconcilable differences and uh, hard to overcome. However, my ex is a wonderful woman, incredible mother to my son. All right, Racy, what about you? Longest relationship and why did it end? Longest relationship was um, 27 years, counting the time that we dated. And um, I married her, um, wonderful lady. Uh, Raised two boys even before I came into the picture, so we're still friends and still cordial, but just grew apart. Mark, what about you? Longest relationship and why did it end? My longest relationship was my marriage. Her mother became really ill, and so she went to check on her, and she had the kind of job where she could transfer, so she transferred down to Florida. So I remember us trying to do a long distance thing, and it just kind of started to fade after a while. And we have a good relationship because my youngest daughter is about to go to med school, so she, we stay in touch for her benefit, and so we have yeah. a great relationship. Okay. All right, Lexi, you got the last question. Okay, so uh, what are your long-term goals? I'm just about where I want to be financially. So, um, I want to be able to just... Huh. Well, yeah. all right. Almost. <laughs> you throw that out. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Hey, she been wondering. <laughs> <laughs> I said almost there. Yeah. And so uh, I'll probably get even more active in my church. Okay. What about you, Russ? 
long-term goals? Uh, it's, a, it's a great, great saying. Uh, Jesus was a king, but he came to serve. And I, I look at myself as being a servant in the community, and I want to mentor and help uh, bring people up. Wow, that's good. <laughs> All right, Ted, long-term goals. Well, <clears throat> my long-term goal is, number one, retirement. Number two, being with a beautiful young lady, spend the rest of my life with, and continue to work on my documentaries. That's my goal. It's real simple and clean. But out of all three of those, though, the number one, beautiful young lady. That's it. Okay. <laughs> all right, Monica. Let me talk to the kids real quick. Listen to me. What we're trying to decide today is who will be best that you think would be a good match for your mom to, first of all, just find somebody that she's compatible with and can be friends with. Now, where it goes from there, that's a lot of other determining factors. We, we're not able to sit here and pick that today. But what you do want to do is pick out the person that has the best chance of getting to know your mom. So let me go down here. Just write who you think it is on that, on this one card right here. You write it down on that card. Then I want you to write it down and you to write it down. I'm gonna be involved in this, because I'm... <laughs> this family that come over here and really want some help, and I got an idea who I think it is, but I want to see what these <laughs> kids think. Just write who you want, uh, baby. In the middle, the so yours is in the middle? No, no, no. It's on the same. Ooh. Just... Ooh. It's unanimous? <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Okay. Oh, my God, it's unanimous. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> All right, so, Monica, who is it going to be? Your pick is the one that's going to decide it. Who do you pick? Ted. <laughs> Ted is the winner. Thank you very much, Ted. What, what was it about Ted? Um, his sense of humor and um, his compassion. You want to know who your kids pick? Who did y'all pick? Who did y'all pick? Ted. Ted. <laughs> well, thank you all. Come on over, Ted. Hey, folks, that's a good one. We'll be right back. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're going to enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.